Hello everyone, I'm Nadia and I'm happy to present you the 10th episode of my Reason Pleasant You. Today we are playing Gordon King the Burglar and the reason for playing him is the same uh, as for playing Kaelin Langerak. He's got uh, a relationship uh, here in Pleasant You with some of the playables, more precisely Dustin Broke. Dustin's got a memory about him and uh, they are friends and colleagues, so to speak. However, unlike Kaelin, Gordon's got some money, so he's not renting any apartments. He is living in this tiny hut in the woods. After being tracked down by the local police, Gordon decided to give up burglary and train for a new occupation, more stable and safe. So this is uh, Gordon's hideaway in the woods. I think it's pretty noticeable. It stands uh, by itself on this empty road which leads nowhere. And uh, there is his car. I believe Gordon was would definitely have a car. Yeah, there is a shower outside, but uh, the hut is tiny, so it's okay. Now let's take a look at Gordon. I know, not the most attractive face, but at least uh, he doesn't look like uh, the rest of uh, the Pleasant View male sims. Gordon is currently 35 years old. He is a knowledge sim, by the way. And uh, let's read his bio. Gordon used to be the smartest guy in his school class, but mixing up with wrong people led him into the criminal world, which he'd never been interested in. The hardware part is cool, though. So this is my headcanon for Gordon, that, uh, yeah, he is a knowledge sim, and he was always interested in school and stuff, but uh, he mixed up with... Uh, some bad companies uh, and as a result uh, he never got uh, any education, any university degrees, but uh, he got stuck uh, here in Pleasant View as a criminal. He used to be a burglar and uh, by the way his current occupation is more or less the same. He is a, a getaway driver level 5. So I think once you get into the criminal world uh, there is uh, no way you can escape it. Uh, Gordon probably thinks uh, that uh, this occupation is more safe than being a burglar. Well, I probably agree, at least uh, being a getaway driver, he is responsible for his uh, own safety, he can make this car go as fast as it can. And uh, as you might have noticed, Gordon uh, was never interested in crime, and it's true. If we take a look at his interests, crime is completely blank. He is interested in politics, in entertainment, environment and uh, weather. I think Gordon was very young when he got into the criminal world, just like Dustin, probably that's why he is friends with Dustin, he recognizes uh, himself in Dustin and uh, also, you can see there is Benjamin Lon on his relationship panel. That's because I used Benjamin Lon to move Gordon into Pleasant View. And my theory is that their parents used to be friends. And when Gordon noticed uh, that uh, he was being followed by the police, uh, he decided to lie down somewhere. Of course, he knew about Dustin's poor living conditions, so he chose someone he knew, and that was Benjamin Lon. And so he was staying with Benjamin Lon for a couple of months, and now he is back to his house. And uh, luckily for me, <laughs> Gordon doesn't have uh, all these stupid generic memories. He has got the normal ones, the ones that I want him to have. Moved out, moved in, back into his hut and uh, got a job. A new job, like still in the criminal field, but another kind of job. Gordon's current uh, lifetime want uh, is uh, to become a mad scientist. I think it's fitting because uh, he was never interested in crime and probably he does want to become mad scientist, but I don't think that he'll ever achieve this. By the way, Gordon is very neat. He is uh, more shy than outgoing, but not particularly shy. He is active, he is very serious, and uh, he is between grouchy and nice, uh, which means that he is not a bad person. Uh, I can compare him to Jennifer Burp, for example. And I think it's time to take a look at his turn-ons and turn-offs. Oh, 
So he is turned off by someone good at cleaning when he is super neat. Let's change this. Well, I decided to pick brown hair for Gordon because I don't think that anyone in Pleasant U is turned on by brown hair. And uh, because Gordon is a bachelor of 35 years old, I think he, he is probably missing something that only a good wife can provide and this is uh, being a great cook. As for his turn-offs, it's definitely not good at cleaning. I think in stink because he is neat. Okay, and we are ready to play. As you could have probably seen, Gordon had uh, the top yeah. wand initially and uh, I locked it deliberately for him. Uh, well, he could probably, yeah, talk to Benjamin Lon or Dustin that he is thinking about. Like, look, he's thinking about Dustin over and over again. But I actually think that we could uh, send Gordon to a community. L look, he's thinking about the gnome. Did he receive that gnome from Mary Sue? Mary Sue stole a gnome from Kaylin Langerak. Probably she sold it to Gordon because no one wants to buy stolen things, you know. And uh, only criminal guys like Gordon can buy this stuff. Oh no, Mary Sue. I knew there's something wrong with uh, the local politicians, but not <laughs> that wrong. He needs to find two more friends for his promotion. One of them, of course, will be Benjamin Lon, but uh, he needs to find someone else. No one in this neighborhood but uh, the police know that Gordon King is a suspected criminal. Um, go somewhere. Mm, like, I don't know. Oh, by the way, I don't know what uh, outerwear Gordon's got. Probably something ridiculous. We can go to a, a local boutique to buy him a new outerwear. Mm, buy outerwear. There is Marissa Bandet. But actually, I don't want to play any other townies that I don't play yet. Like, I can still play Jan Tellerman and Benjamin Lon, and I think it's enough for us. Oh, yeah. This is... Um, I think this is too formal for a guy like Gordon. He may be a knowledge sim, but... Uh, I think uh, we need something more simple for him, like this one. There is Jen Tellerman. I think they can be friends. Uh, but uh, she's a little bit too young. She's 18. Let's meet her. Greet her. <laughs> oh no, Gordon! Don't tell her about your new job. It's a bad job. Luckily, she decided to talk about makeup instead. But Gordon doesn't think it's appropriate. Yeah, and Gordon is a manly man. The chat didn't go well. And I don't want Gordon to meet Mortimer. Uh, drive to another lot. You can see it here. There are Townie. There is Sophie Miguel. There is Kellen Langerak. Oh la la. Greet her. Maybe she'll like him. But uh, his features are too specific. In my opinion. Maybe they are okay for Kaylin. What do you think of her? Nothing. Talk, chat. Money. I think Kaylin will like it. She's getting some money as a child support from Daniel Pleasant. Kaylin is uh, good at cooking, by the way. 
So they should be attracted, and she is a family seaman, he is knowledge. But, um, I don't know, should I make him flirt with her? They obviously get along pretty well. <laughs> well, a lot better than with Jan. Oh, he admired her. <laughs> that was nice. I think we found a friend for Gordon, but I'm a little bit too hesitant about this relationship. I would actually prefer Gordon to meet Brandy. I don't think Kellen would even talk to Gordon if she knew about his occupation, because she is a very ambitious Sam uh, who wants to have um, a good husband with a good job and salary. <gasps> oh no, oh no, Abhijit is wearing his... No, 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 no. No way! Gordon, it's time to get out of here. Drive home, you're hungry. Don't let MG notice you. And it's still morning back here. So we have plenty of time. Dish. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Gordon. So, I think this is uh, the most realistic solution for Gordon's problem. I tried to fit everything in the room, but um, I couldn't. It's too small. I think uh, he can have another sandwich. Oh no! His neighbors came to welcome him into the neighborhood. And there is Brandy. Well, I like the fact that Brandy is uh, here, but... Look. There are too many people for a person who's trying to hide away. Okay, Brandy, it's nice. It's always nice to see you. Gordon, of course, is a knowledge Sam. But uh, he is uneducated. Look, and uh, she admires him immediately. Chat. Look at their relationship. Mm, well, the chat uh, isn't going so smoothly. At least Brandy can now <coughs> come into our house. Well, what I was talking about is that uh, Gordon is not Darren, and I think uh, that someone like Brandy can be a good match for him. A lot, at least a lot better than uh, Kaylin, who is ambitious, and a lot better than Nina, uh, who is... Um, oh, who is gone. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Uh, sh Nina is a Roman sim. Uh, she probably uh, saw Gordon's face and was like, Oh my god! Of course I wanted a variety, but uh, I didn't want to see this. <laughs> Brandy is trying to talk to you. Listen to a joke. Oh, mm, I'm not sure if he will listen to the joke. He will. <laughs> It's a joke about uh, a movie, some soup, talk to her. Look, like, she is always trying to talk to him. I think uh, she's attracted to Gordon. And also, like, look, <laughs> she's talking about her newborn baby. Gordon doesn't mind. Uh, they have a, a nice age gap. He is uh, 35 and Brandy is uh, 32 or 33. 
I don't know why the chat uh, is not working. <laughs> I think uh, their interests are absolutely different. What? Brandy is not interested in food? I don't know what to do with it. Um, let's try this one. Oh, she was trying to do something. Okay. Like, ah, uh, one bold. Not really that much. Talk. Hang out. Can you hang out with Brandy, please? Be charm. <laughs> oh, no, no. Brandy. Brandy is too much attracted. No, Brandy, what have you done? Ah, oh, Brandy is hungry. Serve lunch. Ah, uh, Brandy is sloppy. Will she lick the plate? I wonder. Ah, uh, call to meal guests. Come on, Brandy. This one is for you. Look, they ruined their relationship. Brandy was too assertive. I had so many hopes about the couple, but I'm not sure anymore. Oh, look, what are you doing, Brandy? You're so sloppy, you're disgusting. And they didn't chat at all. Brandy was too assertive, and I think that probably Gordon uh, felt um, the smell, you know. Brandy is um, sometimes smelly. Again, again. Why do you always choose the wrong topic? And out. It's the last chance. Luckily, she accepts because they have this one bowl. They can only talk about weather and relationships. Damn! And now their relationship is finally growing pretty fast. Luckily, they don't talk about anything else uh, than uh, weather. Oh, but Brandy is actually Dustin's mother, so it will not make any career difference for Gordon. Look, they are friends now. <laughs> okay, that's nice. And oh! It counts as a separate friend! Oh, so we could make uh, Dina Caliente or Dina Goss uh, Darren Dreamer's friend. I thought that it uh, wouldn't count, but it counts, and I like it. You need to go to the bathroom, Gordon. Wait, 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 before you do this, put away leftovers, use the bathroom. You know, I think Brandy is attracted by... Oh, he has work today! Sorry, Brandy. Sorry, Brandy. Gordon needs to sleep. Saying goodbye. Oh, I wanted something else. Flirt. Charm. Will it work? Please work. Oh, it's working. It's working. So, they can get along. If they try hard. So, they... They developed a crush on each other and Brandy beca became stinky. No! Say goodbye, you have work. Brandy is so assertive. I cannot. Oh no, don't kiss her. She stinks. No! <laughs> and he's repulsed, of course, because she's so stinky. Now he's got a crush on Brandy. But they only have uh, one bold. I think Brandy likes athletic men and uh, Gordon is just slim. 
he needs to gain more muscle. And Nina returned to Gordon's place. Blisty. What's up with you, Nina? I thought uh, you were repulsed by Gordon's face, but mm. yes, here. Uh, maybe Nina is so desperate. <laughs> She's thinking about kisses. You wouldn't like uh, being kissed by Gordon. Enough sleeping. Go and use the shower. He earned some money. At least uh, his salary is good. He wants to gain a skill point. He doesn't care which one it will be. you want to sleep come on I think it's time to end this episode it was not very eventful but uh, Gordon managed to get a crush on Brandy Broke who was very assertive well thank you very much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed uh, Gordon's and Brandy's romance so I see you in the next episode bye